Hey, this is Forrest from Way of Life Bootcamp, and today we have a great question uh, put on Facebook by Megan in Vista, California. And thank you, Megan, for sending in this great question. Her question today is, how much protein should I be taking in for weight loss? And uh, that's a fantastic question. Um, you know, a lot of our clients are coming to us for weight loss, for toning, and uh, how much protein should you really be eating? Um, well, one of the things to just you know, sit back and think about the whole spectrum is you know, protein, protein is one of three macronutrients that we are um, needing in our body that is absolutely essential, absolutely critical for muscle recovery and tissue repair. Um, every tissue, organ, cell in your body needs protein, okay? And uh, it's, yeah, it's very, very important. So what we have here is the RDA recommended daily allowance for men, 56 grams of protein per day, and for women, 46 grams of protein per day, which I think is not where you should be at, okay? That's the recommended daily allowance, and that's what they recommend as your minimum just for kind of surviving and letting, you know, they, they, they talk about, you know, maybe a healthy adult, minimum, this is your minimum, but we are, you know, exercising, we're living active lifestyles, we need more than just the bare minimum to uh, really start to you know, build that lean muscle, raise our metabolism, and help us drop the weight. Um, so definitely for weight loss, you need to add some more protein. Not only that, but protein is going to make you feel less hungry over the course of the day because your body, you know, if you're eating a chicken breast, your body really has to work to digest that. It's going to take a while. But if you eat um, you know, a muffin or some type of uh, you know, grain or carbohydrate, it's going to digest very quickly, it's going to turn into sugar in your system very rapidly and um, your body will soon burn it off, you'll be hungry again and you'll have that carb cycle craving going on. So not that carbs are bad, but we want to eat the right carbs and couple it with protein. And plenty of it. So for example, my recommendation is going to be this. For men and women, one gram per pound of lean mass. And the way you find out your, your lean mass is you basically, you look at somebody, your weight. Say you have a 150 pound person right here. This 150 pound person has a body fat percentage of 25%, let's say, okay? That means that their lean mass, which is their muscle, blood, bones, organ, everything but fat, okay? That's your lean mass, is gonna be 112.5, and their fat, how much fat they have on their body is gonna be 37.5 pounds, all right? So, if you want to lose some of that fat, gain some muscle, drop your body fat percentage, overall lose weight, try to match your lean mass with your grams of protein per day. Most people are way under that. Most people are down there around 50 to 70. Um, you know, a lot, lot, uh, lot of women that um, are looking for weight loss need to turn that around and up the protein, uh, preferably getting over 100 grams. So, Use a software like MyFitnessPal.com, go on, create a free account, log your foods, even if it's just for one day, and you'll have a clear picture of exactly how many grams of protein you have, exactly how much you need to bring it up, and if you need your body fat checked, you can always come and see me or go to your local personal trainer, they'll check your body fat, and they'll let you know your lean mass. It's not that difficult to find out. Um, you can just use one of those Omron body fat analyzers, or there's other ways to test it as well. Um, but find out that number, get the protein up. We want that for weight loss. Thank you, Megan. Great question, and we'll see you guys soon.